And I guess you wouldn't be human without thoughts like those once in a while. Maybe. Can I get you anything else? I'm good. I should be leaving, actually. Come on, Sai. Let's get hamburgers and go home. Mm, yeah. We'll be leaving now. Thank you. Please come again. Feeling better? No, I just don't reek of rage. But I still feel horrible. Little steps, I guess. Hello? Kim? The girl from the first night? I remember you. I was afraid I'd mix up the directions and ended up in someone's house or something. What can I get you? I'll have a sunshine cloud, please. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sunshine cloud. Is that the one that's supposed to taste like car caramel? Caramel. I don't know why. Oh man, I almost messed. Oh god. Okay. Well, I have committed to doubling this. Part of me wants to just spam every drink with all of the optional optional Carmo trying and doubling it to see if we get more things like Dorothy the other day. Here. Thanks. So let's work on the whip paper. Oh, I quit. What? Yep, I went to the office of that. <laughs> oh, man. I went to Dawson's office and told him I quit. Why did you do that? I arrived early to my meeting and got some assignment. I spent hours doing it, only for the other ones to come and ruin it. After that, I didn't have time left, so my supervisor scolded me. So I snapped and quit on a whim. Oh, oh. Don't you have any second thoughts? Regret anything? Oh, sorry about that. I guess you always have second thoughts, even if you do what you want. You still think, what if? Even so, I was getting physically sick there. I dreaded the arrival of every morning. I even almost... Well, I don't know what she was going to say, but man, I beat my alarm sometimes, and then it's just like for the next half hour trying to go back to sleep and just looking over at the clock every two minutes instead. What I'm saying is I don't know what I'll do, but it will certainly be better than being there. I feel free. Free. It's a wonderful feeling, you know. I feel like I can find something I care about now. I won't return to the augmented eye, but I could still pursue journalism with another outlet. I haven't felt like. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> I haven't felt like this in. well, ever. <coughs> what about your family? They weren't happy, that's for sure. My dad took it better, but my mom freaked out, to put it mildly. What are you going to do with all that? But I'm not here about that. Give me a big drink, please. What kind? I don't know, bubbly or something. Bubbly. Let's go with frothy water. That was easy enough. Just double all of the not caramel trying ingredients. <laughs> favorite beer since 2040 here if detergent commercials are to, belie <clears throat> to be believed this will clean out my insides it'll also kill things inside you I gotta ask though how did you end up working there no deep reason that's what I did to get out of hi when I got out of high school Taking a year off was out of the question, so I went for the first thing I thought about. Hmm. Maybe if you would have had time to sit and simmer on your thoughts for a minute, you would have been able to figure out something you would be happier with, but... Yeah, well. But I couldn't get into the robotics course, so I settled for journal journalism. Oh. 
To be honest, I got tired of the job midway through it, but I couldn't bring myself to leave. Ooh, yeah. I feel you. Too much pressure from my family. Not necessarily that part. It's a really common tale, I guess. Did you have troubles like those? Same story as you, I just went through I just went through the motions. From high school to college, I never stopped to think about what I was doing. And then at some point, I just felt like my life slipped through my fingers. Suddenly, all I wanted was freedom, a little pause, to stop and take a breather. <laughs> and my life fell apart for that breather. Uh, give me a... something. Something. Sorry, I just have a dry mouth. Anything will do. Alright. Uh, crevice spike. My curiosity is going to ruin me. Oh, no. I did that wrong. There we go. I just want to see if I can make like way more people get crazy. Although, I wouldn't be shocked if that was a thing exclusive to Dorothy. Here. Thanks. I feel like I asked something I shouldn't have. Don't fret about it, I'm just in a rough spot right now. Oh, Jill. I want to give this lady a hug. What are you going to do now? Honestly, I don't know. I feel liberated, however. Sometimes it's just the feeling in the moment that you need. Like, I can do whatever I want, study whatever I like, work wherever I want. I know it's that way, not that way, and it won't be easy, but I feel more confident than I was when I was out of high school. I honestly don't know why they get put young people who barely know how society works through that one. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Your mental health should be your priority and all that. True enough. Thanks, I really needed the encouragement. Come back if you need more encouragement. I wouldn't dare leave someone alone when it comes to this sort of thing. Thanks. Bye, Jill. Please come again. You should take some of that advice for yourself. I know, I know. Let's call it a day for now. You need some rest. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's Dorothy. Ah, Dorothy, sorry, we're just closing. I know, I came for you. For me? Why are you hugging me? I paid her to do that all. All night long. Come again? To put it simply, Dorothy will go home with you and she won't leave your side. What? What? Hopefully she doesn't have a fear of cats. What do you hope to accomplish with that? Well, at first it was to calm that rage you had earlier. It was either hug or a cold bucket, and I promise there will there. And I don't promise there will be any water in it. You calm down a bit, but honestly, I know better than leave you alone for another night. At the very least, all the cuddling will give you an epiphany or something. Don't we have a cat for that? That's some alien reasoning right there. It's not. You need hugs. Many. Oh. You need some humanoid contact right now. You had your alone time, now you're playing by my rules. <laughs> Dana is so great. I know that Jill may not be down with this, but it's a really nice way of trying to help. 
treat yourself. Buy something nice for you and Dorothy. Jill wants to get in the holiday mood. May buy a mega Christmas tree. Who's that Lilum? A very good friend. She's not like in the background or anything? Oh well. We'll buy the mega Christmas tree. Uh, where is it? Mega Christmas tree. There we go. And we have plenty of money for the holiday bill. <clears throat> Alright, let's check the good old monster girlfriend, Chiari. Oh, we already looked at that. Can't stop playing this game. Gorgeous graphics, innovative and addictive battle system. Sounds fun, it's for nerds. Fun dating, minigame, cute girls, that music. Is this the goat? Dunno, do you like the goat girl? <laughs> I'm going to marry a goat. 8 out of 10 at most. Bad game. It's a bad game for idiot waifu bots like you. I wish this waifu equals bad game. <clears throat> I wish this waifu equals bad game. Meme would die. It's a stupid game. Pandering to idiots. What's there to discuss? Are we being raided by normies? M normies. Fun things are fun. You're not allowed to have fun with video games. Harsh. Anyway, check the augmented eye. Willem receiving Mysterious. Uh, the world is lar The world at large is still coming to terms with the idea of the loom being so quickly integrated into our society. Sorry. Some say they can't be treated as human because they are immortal and as such cannot really understand what it's like to be alive. Alright. After so long, they would understand what it's like to be alive too much. But most of what the Kar mo most of the Karamiki fandom would disagree. anti lilum people are insane to me. Miki knows more about life than I do, and I'm older than the city. Richard Show 55 told the Augmented Eye during a fan gathering. I'm with Richard, added Nacho. I may be a dog, but I'm fascinated with the way she writes about things in her blog. She's impressed by everything, and nobody knows what a life is about anyway. Nacho, dog, don't tell me. <clears throat> Halloween was b spooky, or a bluff. It was back in October, but this terrifying tale didn't pff, become popular until now. Reports say that Lilum across the city have been receiving strange transmissions with messages that are confusing at best and threatening at worst. The contents are not clear, and most Lilum can't remember exactly what they had heard. But the mysteri but most mysterious thing of all is the fact that Lilum cannot record any of these messages. While they were broadcast, it's almost as if something had blocked the Lilum from doing so. While we have nothing but anecdotal proof, we, even among our own Lilum, the mystery behind these messages is one we should be paying attention to. Alright, gonna give this a save ski. And... I suppose we'll call it a day here. I ended up having to split my uh, recording for that section of the two days because of being interrupted, but I will get that all uploaded sequentially. I try not to upload them when I don't have the finished bit. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you for watching. This part, this got super interesting over the... When I had to take the break, I, I kept wanting to know what was ha what was going to happen, though. Even though, you know, Jill as a character is fascinating. 
and I don't I can't really place why since she is pretty regular but she's not regular in like a boring way I guess in the same way that like Phoenix right is like the uh, kind of he, he plays the straight man to a lot of things except for when the story calls for him to be wacky but comparatively to a lot of the prosecutors and the uh, Maya and some of the witnesses, Phoenix is very much the straight man in a way that I think it not he differentiates himself from you enough to make it feel like it's not a self insert, but it very much can speak to a lot of people. And I think that's kind of what Jill's character achieves. And that's why I like her. I guess I don't know why I launched into that for some reason. Anyway, thank you for watching, and as always, follow me to Apex.